Uh, for the next part, what we will do is some uh, reinforcing ribs, not on the side exactly, but where these kids still will attach. So to be able to have a flat surface on which we will be able to work, then we are going to cut that opening into that, this is a 2 by 3 uh, one knife, or uh, something like that. So cutting it to this uh, specific dimension, making a duplicate, so we will have two flat surfaces on which we will be able to work. That makes sense. Yes, much better. Much better. What we just did is to adjust our support so that they fit nicely against the uh, mold board. And the same with this one, then we took uh, one uh, a profile that is a closed profile, we clamp it down so that we have a support like this. Uh, this one also will make sure that we have a support like this because even if we cut that perfectly on our uh, <laughs> angle grinder, then it could have some, uh, some place. So it's being settled nicely against this, uh, the back of the plow. Once it's tack welded, we'll use that as a rule uh, to make sure that the other supports that are going there are not going to be up or down to make sure that we have a perfect alignment from the back. So we're going to tackle this support. this okay as you can see that's good there and this one is good uh oh why so yeah this boss Oh, oh. Ho, ho, ho. Cut the line going there and just. Right. Yeah. That is true. Don't worry. Okay, we'll go like this. Holy smoke. I think that we have something. Yes, that one. Ay, 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 ay. I rip up this side. Oh, this side is not too bad then. Okay. An easy fix. You know what to do? Yes. Um, and I push.
Maybe. Maybe. Ah, ben, c'est pas grave, le restant c'est complètement mort. Ouais. Il n'y a plus aucune marge. Ok. Ok. Uh, what we did is we cut those ends so that they are perfectly flush with that tubing and we're going to cut the uh, top of it on it so basically the plow is a little bit smaller in uh, eight uh, than what a skid steer quick attach can afford so that's why we have those uh, supports sticking out at the uh, top of the uh, plow but uh, no problem there we want to cut them just make sure that the snow doesn't fall into the uh, system and that should be Perfectly good. Once we have uh, put some plate here uh, to make the continuity, uh, we've put that uh, piece of a uh, flat bar, it's a uh, uh, 38. Uh, by one inch and it's the full length the idea for now is to have the full length to have the proper alignment from one side to the other once we're done we're just going to cut the uh, remaining part we've used one of those uh, models and we have used that in the previous video this is the model for the uh, skip circuit attach system 45 degrees 60 degrees and specific length this is our model there's a hole in it this hidden model, <laughs> so we keep it for future uh, project. And we've got one, two piece out of that. The first one is already in place. It's a quarter of an inch within the uh, frame, which was calculated, so we have some good welding on the side. And then we have that plate that goes on the top. So we've used that model to make sure that we have the same angle from one side to the other side, so we have a, a proper, um, set up to be able to weld. We're going to weld here on that flat bar on the sides and a little bit here and there inside. Not this one. No. And Dave, <laughs> you're responsible to yes. check me, make sure that I don't weld those two pieces together. Hi, hi, sir. <laughs> and we're going to repeat obviously on the other side. I'm going to check something, just make sure that we have the proper width going to be, oh, not failing, no, it's not going to work, and? you, there's a problem, uh -oh. you stand, we have a problem, I have 45 inches, so that makes the difference, we're going to have to, to have this plate flush with the side, oh, not such a big deal, but Okay. It's happening live. <laughs> yeah. That won't be long to correct that. So I was hoping to have some kind of a difference here we can weld, but this is a rounded tube. It's a two by three, so there are some uh, welding spots here that we can pick, uh, we can use. Okay, so it should be good, good. And with that in mind, yep, we'll get the 44, uh, 44 and a half. Good, ready? Yes, I'm on the watch. <laughs> No. Oh yes. Yeah, Sorry. That's the one, <laughs> okay. 
Mach's gut. Okay, I welded two plates together because I'm going to make the, uh, the base of the uh, of the Skitsir Quick Attach system, which there will be the notch here, so the pin can latch on this part. I want to have the both parts to be exactly the same. So the uh, notch needs to go from five to nine and a half. And it needs to be one inch and a half deep, um, like this. So what I do is that the notch will be like this. I don't know if you can see even the markings. So I'm going to make the mark a little bit less deep a little bit not as wide so when cutting with the milling then I that's the cut for the saw so I'm going to cut like this and like this to be able to reach the sides there, there, and after that I will be able to make the bottom cut. But yet on the milling I am going to take the final pass so that it can have the uh, exact depth I want to have. stick against the uh, 60 degrees angle and we hold this tight at the same time easy like that okay we put back the uh, tube here uh, to keep that straight it was uh, underneath these uh, brackets now it's on the top we're going to add those gussets at the same time, we cut the uh, excess material um, here on each and every uh, section. And we're going to put the gussets there. And what we did is we leave it open on each and every size because uh, it's going to collect water if we uh, close it. Uh, unless that we do a super good weld, but mm, <laughs> let's keep that open. So it will just drain water if there's any water coming in. So. We've done many gussets, and why doing gussets like this, as opposed to some uh, plates, is to make sure that, you know, in winter there's snow everywhere, it sticks everywhere, and you want to have the simplest design possible, so that you can clean that very easily. So I'm going to tackle these now. Ready? Can you stop the, uh, yes. the pan? Yeah. Holy smoke!
<laughs> That's perfect. Yes. A little bit small for the case. <laughs> Good. Good.